So I'm pretty sure all y'all Cowboys fans are sick and tired of hearing this, but I'm still enjoying it. So saw good morning football after the Cowboys Niners game, and this dude went in on the Cowboys. Check this. Well, you see, there's 14 seconds left in the game, mm -hmm. and they had no time. Just start rolling this thing. I, I've watched this now 50 <laughs> times since it happened, and I still cannot believe that a group of paid professionals said, let's run quarterback right up the middle, right up the middle of the field with no timeouts in 14 seconds. You know what? The Niners didn't even do the thing where they laid on them. Them. They, got they got right up. They, didn't. they like, could have, and they could have bought themselves another second. It wouldn't have been this close. The Niners did their job, I guess. The Cowboys failed in every single situation. And Mike McCarthy afterwards says, I like the call. I, I, I would, uh, Mike, you would do that again? Oh, okay. You would have it come down to 50 different elements, including yeah. officials, uh, cardiovascular health, and manual dexterity to get the ball spotted? For you? It was an asinine, asinine decision. And you know what? Like, this, this is the headline and everything. The worst part is that this Dallas Cowboys team, in the broader sense, so you have the, the highest paid quarterback ever, you got a very expensive wide receiver, you got a very expensive running back, you drafted C.D. Lamb, and I'm looking in the fourth quarter of a home playoff game up at the scoreboard, and Dallas Cowboys have seven points. Mm -hmm. mm. What the hell is that? Dalton Schultz is the guy who led them in yards. The thing seems completely broken. He didn't catch him all in the fourth quarter either. Nothing. Zeke Elliott stuffed. Like always, like what this team is this this this, this cavalcade of all stars. They have seven points in a home playoff game against a team that snuck into the playoffs. And I just I'm at the I'm at wit's end. I'm, this is such a yawn for me that the Cowboys lost again because it's another year of like they win some games, they sell a lot of jerseys, they fill a lot of TV segments, and we obsess over them. And we obsess over them because of the past, and we obsess over them because of their relationship with the media. And then the football's never good. They don't do squat. Every single year for a bleeping quarter century. I don't want to do it next year. Like, play this clip of all this talking next year because it's going to be the same thing. 26 years of, we're the Cowboys. And that was what that was. And that was in glorious, glorious fashion of uh, that decision making at the end of the game. So it's a whole team built on superficiality and fame and front runners and selling jerseys. And they have glass straws oh, in the playoffs every year. fat with no urgency, huh? That's what you're oh, saying? Yeah. What, but, Mike, what are they? We, we pound Zeke. No, you don't. We, we bring in C.D. Lamb. You didn't get him the ball. Like, you just lost him a wild card round at home. It's, it's frustrating because we talk about him so much because that's what you do, and I understand it. But fans at home are like, why are you always talking about the Cowboys? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I know y'all staying mad about this, but, I mean, is he really wrong? Is he wrong? How about them Cowboys?